Hi, welcome to this video, the first in my series on moments of a force. So what do we mean by moment of a force? Well, the best way I can describe this is if you take a ruler and say place it on a smooth table, then if you just put your finger on the end here, let's just say this is my sketch of a hand here, you put your finger at some point on the end here and then what I want you to do is just say push in this direction with the other finger and if we say that you push with a force say F Newtons in that direction then what's going to happen to the ruler? Well assuming it's on a smooth table the ruler should turn about this point here in an anti-clockwise direction. Now if you apply this force here at a distance d meters say from the point that we're turning about where you've got your finger then if we multiply f by d the force by the distance it gives us a measure of the amount of turning force that we can supply relative to this point here which I'm going to call O. So we talk about the moment about O as equaling the force times the distance. In other words it equals FD for short. Now if I'm pushing in this direction then the ruler wants to turn in an anti-clockwise sense. Now we talk about the sense of the moment. In this particular example, the sense is anti-clockwise. The ruler wants to turn anti-clockwise, about O. And what units do we use? Well, we're multiplying a force, which is in newtons, with a distance in meters. So we talk about the units of that moment as being measured in newton meters or nm for short. Now suppose I had that same ruler again and I decide to put my finger at the same point just on that point there on the end of the ruler and this time I decide to push downwards like this okay on the ruler. Well, clearly about this point here, which we'll call O, the ruler would want to turn in a clockwise sense. And suppose the force then that I push down here is 20 newtons. And the distance, the length of this ruler from this point here to here, it's say a 30 centimeter ruler. In other words, 0.3 meters just mark that distance into there. Then we talk about the moment about O. Now there's going to be other notation that we use. Instead of writing moment about O, which you can do, it's quite usual to see this notation M for moment and then we put the point that we are doing the moment about in brackets and then the sense of the moment we would use an arrow and this sense would be the positive sense. You can put a plus sign here if you wish or just leave it out, it's up to you. So if we're taking then moments about O, taking clockwise as positive, I'll leave out the plus sign, then that moment will clearly be equal to the force which is 20 newtons multiplied by the distance to the pivot here, the point that it turns around. So that's going to be 20 multiplied by the distance 0.3. And so that comes out to equal 6. And as we discussed earlier, the units would be newton meters. And the sense of it would be clockwise. That's if we're asked to discuss the sense of it. You don't have to put that in. Now suppose we take our ruler again and this time we hold the ruler with one finger say at a point somewhere here. 
let's just put our finger in then we're just holding the ruler at that point there now with the other finger let's just suppose we push down in that direction let's say we push down with a force again of 20 newtons well what's going to happen well the ruler is going to want to turn in a clockwise sense about that point now suppose we wanted to keep this ruler in equilibrium we didn't want it to turn then we would need to apply another force say at the end here pushing downwards let's just mark that in so you'd need to get somebody else to push for instance in this direction in order for that not to rotate about this point here which we'll call O right so for this ruler to stay in equilibrium then the total moment about O must equal zero and this is a very important point that we'll discuss in other examples so let's just put some distances in let's just suppose that the distance from the 20 newtons to this point here is say 10 centimeters or 0.1 meters and let's say that this other distance here is the remaining 0.2 meters okay so when it comes to working out what F would be the force needed to keep this in equilibrium we know that the total moment about O must be equal to zero so to do problems like this we would tell the reader where we're taking moments about which in this case would be about O we can set up a positive sense it doesn't really matter whether we go clockwise or anti-clockwise here and I would strongly suggest that you experiment with this I'm going to choose clockwise as being positive and if I do then my equation would be the moment of this force about O would be the force 20 times 0 0.1 and because the ruler would want to turn in a clockwise sense if I look at this moment it would want to turn about O in a clockwise sense then this moment is positive but now when I come on to the moment provided by this force of F newtons about O this force would want to turn the ruler anti-clockwise about O so it's in the negative sense now because remember I've chosen clockwise as positive so this will be minus minus the force times the distance to O so that'd be minus F multiplied by 0 0.2 and so this is the total moment about O but because it's in equilibrium that total moment will be equal to zero so it's just a question now of solving this equation so I leave it up to you but if you did do it you're going to have 20 times 0 0.1 which is going to be 2 and then minus 0 0.2 multiplied by F 0 0.2 F and that equals zero and so if I rearrange this just add 0.2f to both sides I'm going to get 2 equals 0.2f or 0.2f equals 2 and now if I divide both sides by 0.2 I therefore have f equals 10 okay now do experiment with this just do this the other direction anti-clockwise is positive it wouldn't make any difference to your answer all that you should get is that F times 0 0.2 minus 20 times 0 0.1 equals 0 it's just that this becomes minus this becomes plus and it equals 0 still when you rearrange it you're going to get exactly the same answer so it doesn't matter which direction you decide to take as positive as long as you stick to it throughout your equation you will arrive at the same answer 
Okay, well, this is very short introduction then on taking moments about a point and the definition of what a moment is. But in my next video, what I'm going to do is start to take this further where we look at balancing, say, a ruler, a rod, on a point. And we're going to look at how we develop the various equations for this. Okay, so I hope you found this useful, and if so, that you'll continue to look at other videos in this series on moments. And the best place to look at all my videos is on my website rather than my YouTube channel.